Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about class functions in Python. So a class function is essentially a function that we can use inside of a class and it can either modify the objects of that class or it can give us specific information about those objects. Over here, I have this student.py file. And inside of here, I created a student class. So I just had a class student and I gave this student a couple of different attributes. I gave it a name, a major, and a GPA. So I can give this student all of this information. So when I create a student object, it'll have all of that information in it. Now over here on this app.py file, I actually created two students. So um, student one is Oscar, who's studying accounting, and he has a GPA of 3.1. Student two is Phyllis, who's studying business, and she has a 3.8. So what we can actually do is we can use functions inside of these class files. So I could actually define a function inside of this student class and then all of my student objects could access it. So for example, I could come down here and create a function and let's say we wanted to create a function that told us whether or not this particular student had honors. So whether or not they were on the honor roll, right? Basically like, are they like a really good student? So I could define a function called on honor roll. And basically what it's going to do, it's going to tell me whether or not this particular student is on the honor roll. And let's basically just say the rules for being on honor roll is you have to have a GPA of 3.5 or above. So if your GPA is 3.5 or above, that means you're on the honor roll. Well, over here, I could actually write the code for that. So I could say if self.gpa and when i say self over here this is referring to like the actual student's gpa and you'll notice over here i have to pass that in um, as a parameter and that always has to be the first parameter so i could say if self.gpa is greater than or equal to 3.5 then we can return true because this student is on the honor roll otherwise else we can just return false because if their GPA isn't above a 3.5, then they're not on the honor roll. So that's essentially our little on honor roll function. And you can see it's a very small function, but it provides a service to the objects of this class, right? It, it allows the objects of this class to figure out whether or not that current student is on the honor roll. So over in this app.py file, I could just print out that value. So I could say print and I'm going to see if student one is on the honor roll. So now when I run this, you'll see it should print out false and it's printing out false down here because student one only has a GPA of 3.1. If I was to do the same thing on student two, student two has a GPA of 3.8. So we should return true. And that's exactly what happened. So Essentially, a class function is just a little function that can be used by the objects of the class. And I would say this is a pretty good example of like what a class function should be doing. It should be like giving us information about the class, or it could also be like modifying information about the class. And so that's the basics of using functions in classes. I mean, this is a pretty simple tutorial, but I really just wanted to introduce you guys to the concept of putting functions inside of classes. This is going to be really useful. And if you're making a class, you always want to think about like what functions can I put inside of here that will, you know, essentially help the user to either figure out information about the object or modify different values in the object. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.